Let us pray. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. What does the Lord require of you but to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God? We meet in the presence of God to commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice, and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability, and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken away. And so we pray together. God, our, our, our refuge and strength, Bring near the day when war shall cease, and poverty and pain shall end, that earth may know the peace of heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now commemorate and commend to God's safekeeping all those who have laid down their lives to bring freedom and peace, especially those from our villages and parish whose names are recorded on this, our memorial. George Anderson, Thomas Armstrong, <coughs> Margaret Ann Barrow, John Robert Bateman, Francis Edgel Bell, Walter Bell, George Young Sadler Blair, Alexander Brangston, Henderson Brangston, James Brangston, William Britton, Thomas Rookin Buckham, Albert Bullymont, Stephen Cheston, Thomas Cheston, James Henry Clough, Alexander Coates, Michael Collin, William Costello, Frederick Colt, Sidney Duke, Simpson Dunn, James Henry Dunning, Ernest Fallon, Robert Bullerwell Fairbridge, Thomas Farry, Marmaduke Featherstonehoff, William Samuel Featherstonehoff, James Lancelot Ferguson, Joseph Martin Fletcher, Joseph William Foster, James Foy, Alfred Ernest Gibson, Albert John Hampton. Henry Harford Hampton, Duke Harrison, William Harrison, James Harwood, John Hassan, Frederick Hattams, Eric Hetherington, Charles Hill, James Hodgson, John William Hunton, Thomas Jackson, William Roskilly Jarvis, John Borgang Johnson, Luther Vincent Borgang Johnson, Stephen Kelly, Paul Aloysius Kenner, George Kirtley, Lyle Hat Latham, Vivian Latham, Michael Leonard, Samuel Whitfield McClay, George MacDonald, Joseph McElhatton, Benjamin Mosey, John Henry Horatio Myers, Thomas Willis, Willis Nicholson, William O'Brien, John Pinkerton, William Tirkel Pratt, Stephen Ramsey, John Henry Reynolds, James Richardson, Thomas Richardson, William Ross. 
Alfred Edward Rowe, Jared Gloag Sadler, Michael Salmon, Wilfred Salmon, Arthur Huntley Sargent, John Sargent, Joseph Norman Scott, Luke William Smith, Thomas Henry Smith, Harry Spence, John H. Spence, William Spence, John Stevenson, Newton Story, Tom Story, James Herbert Swain, John Robert Swinbank, George Tapp, Joseph Hope Teasdale, Walter Tom Thackeray, Henry Percival Thompson, William Thompson, Luke Thornton, Joseph Tomlinson, Thomas Henry Turnbull, Walter Veach, Robert Wainwright, John Benson Walker, George Wardle, Thomas Wardle, Joseph Warriner, Thomas Whitaker, Isaac Wilson, John Wilson. William Blackett, Thomas Cheston, Edward Cowan, James Dobson, Leo Doran, John Martin Finch, Richard John Gamlin, George Green, John Halpin, William Charles Hill, George William Lakin, Michael Luxmore, Vera Mace, Anthony McGeary, Donald McMillian, Michael O'Brien, Robert Ray, John Wardle Scott, Robert Bell Smith, Percy Stoker, William Keith Thompson, Nathaniel Thornton, Alan Tomlinson, John Tomlinson, Robert William Tonks, James Stratton Wardle, Stuart Ian Lang, and Gavin Peacock. Please do now come and lay your wreaths, beginning with the Lord Lieutenant's representative.
they shall grow not old as we that are left grow old age shall not weary them nor the years condemn at the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them we will, we will remember them go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. Ever living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears bring justice to all peoples and establish harmony among the nations through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May I invite us all now to share in an act of commitment to peace. The answer to each of the questions I will put to you is we will. Let us commit ourselves to responsible living and faithful service. 
Will you strive for all that makes for peace? We will. Will you seek to heal the wounds of war? We will. Will you work for a just future for all humanity? We will. Merciful God, we offer to you the fears in us that have not yet been cast out by love. May we accept the hope you have placed in the hearts of all people and live lives of justice, courage, and mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Redeemer. Amen. Amen. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, and the Commonwealth, and all people, peace and concord, and to us and all God's servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. May you go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. In the, in name, the name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.